Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Buchanan family. Oh, I got hear my face and it's itchy. <laughs> Welcome back. Yes, hello. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing good. It feels like forever since we have vlogged because actually we've not really vlogged well we vlogged on wednesday i guess which was sky's birthday and then sky did her birthday present opening video today i'm wearing my hair straight and someone once commented in a video the other day saying all i talk about is my hair uh, yeah hair is life um but it's meant to be straight today but if you guys can see the weather it is very very wet so it's probably going to go but anyway we are on our way to Brayhead, which is a kind of shopping centre near where we live. Well, it's not near where we live, it's like, I don't know, 40 minutes away or something. So we're going to go to Ikea there because I need some new crockery. We literally have run out of like plates and cups and, not cups, but like plates and bowls, little side plates. I don't know what happens to them all. Where do they go? And we also need, the boys need some trousers and Sky needs some new jeans. And Sky is wearing a cool headband today, rocking it, Sky and Sky, your birthday present opening video has got like 500 views already. Wow. And by the time you guys watch this, it will have a, a totally different amount of views. It's been up for like 12 hours, and well, a little bit more than 12 hours, and it's got 500 views already, which is amazing! I thought so. And our Gail's rocking his new Gap jumper. You look lovely in it, Gail. Absolutely lovely. So we're going to go and... I'm wearing the same. Here's my trousers. You're matching. Oh, that's nice. You want to win the crash, Ikea? Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll see if they have spaces. Yeah. Yeah, Sky doesn't want to win the crash. She thinks she's too big now. Mm -hmm. You think you're too big, Sky? Yeah. No, I might be. Because a little kid would have more fun than me. Do you think so? Yeah, because all I could really do is watch a movie. Okay, and Thomas is putting air in the tires guys because the ears are feeling the ears The tires are feeling a little flat according to Thomas. So he's out there on the rain doing that Ikea time the soft play is full so the kids are just gonna stay with us But what color are we going to go for one of these blue. brushes? Blue? Yeah. What do you think your girl? Blue? Yeah? No? What color do you think? This is the most difficult decision of your life. Okay, we can get a red one but get a different one because well, that one's a bit broken green oh my gosh so hard to decide i also want to get a packet of these scissors because i have heard good things about these scissors so we'll get a packet of them sky no. and i was looking for a wooden spoon because i could really oh, do with it. it's right on the other side and you're still smart thomas has broken our blind guides to that little handle they don't sell them, so he's wondering if he can just steal it. No, you can't. We'll be banned from no, IKEA forever. Services. But we're going to buy this crockery set, guys. It's just plain white. It's actually very nice. It looks weird there, but it's just a nice plain white one. It's pretty cheap. Oh, I'm happily pleased. Oh, let's see over. I made a monster. What is Rebel this you've done? A monster. Oh, I see. That's oh, lovely, Oven. Well done, you. I don't know why. Every time I'm talking about character. Did you smell it? Oh, sky. And this is actual, if you guys don't know, this is actually cowhide. And why would you smell it, Sky? Because. Why would you smell it? It feels very strange. It feels like, this is a bit like a horse. Yeah. Does it feel a bit like a horse? And this is a tiger, or girl. I don't think it's real tiger, though. Because I think a lot of tigers are endangered species. Daddy is not Look at me like I'm crazy. What's this? You look like Gargamel from the Smurfs. You look like Gargamel Thomas. <laughs> I don't look like a cow. We are finished in Ikea now guys and it's probably very windy. I've still yet to fix my wind muff. What are they doing? Oh, I feel that wind so you guys will hear it. But anyway, I couldn't find Thomas. I'm like, where is Thomas? He's in Ikea buying ice creams. That explains where he is. I was going to show you guys what we bought. So as you've seen, we bought this crockery set and the brush and the scissors. But I also picked up six of these bowly plates. I'm aware that's not a word, but I'm claiming that a bowly plate. But at least we were yeah, good for like curry and stuff. Like Daddy is away getting you ice cream. That's where he's been. <laughs> Do you like ice cream? No? Yeah. Yeah, guys. Dad's getting ice. What? Ice what is this? <laughs> Your dad's getting ice cream. That's where he is. He's been standing in the queue for ice cream. Mannequin challenge. <laughs> On freeze. <laughs> so guys, we're in pre-mark and what just happened, Sky? A power cut. A power cut? <laughs> but we're still alive, so it's all right. Yeah. And somebody got scared. Who got scared? 
Did you get scared? Oh, don't be scared, yeah, Diamond. Like, got scared. Like my gosh, I need like this. This guy, see him, my man? There was like this creepy song that mm -hmm. wouldn't stop. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's back on. And it only lasted for like 10 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, we're in here, we're and buying stuff we do not need. Well, let's we'll start. <laughs> and, uh, like. Oh, it tells her though. In my mind, I like store like monsters there. I wanted to show you what we bought in Primark, guys, but because the power went out, the power's actually out in the car park too. <clears throat> so we just had to like run up the ramp where you're not really meant to go because there's no stairs to get into this level. So that wasn't so good, but I don't know. I mean, it's not super dark. No, I think I'll wait to show you when we get home what we got from Primark. A big bag of goodies. I'll just do a quick haul in this video. We are back home now guys and I wanted to share what I bought from Primark and I did get a lot so that's not why I'm not doing it a separate haul but first of all I got this really cool letter board what do you guys think it's kind of hard to see I thought this would be really good for Instagram pictures Thomas was like what do you need a letter board for it was eight pounds but I got it for five pounds and then let's see our guy have got some Harry Potter pajamas. Cause you know, everybody needs Harry Potter pajamas. But show them your glasses. You look like a wee happy kid. Thomas got, well, I say Thomas got some glasses. We got some glasses. As did from, they not give you a strong box. As do you know, 50p each. I didn't see any nice glasses in Ikea. You've been Ching looking for months. They, they just see your body, they can't see your face. <laughs> and then what else did I get? I got, I got, I got some pantaloons. He got some Minecraft ones and some Harry Potter pants. I also picked up this dog from Primark. They yeah. sell them for £500 if you're interested in buying one. No, actually, it's only five. No, I paid like £500 for her. Did you? Yeah, I know. But Gail also got these Jim Jams from Asda. That's a three pack. They're in the sale for £8. You guys can see them. There we go. Just kind of basic pyjamas. He was desperately needing pyjamas because he's outgrown all these jammies and gave them to Oban. So Oban's drawer is like overflowing with pyjamas. <laughs> but Brother Gail's got like three pairs of pyjamas. Look how tall I am. Your tiptoe on? Stop it. Your tiptoe on get down. Here we go. And then Sky got these <laughs> jeans. These are aged 10 to 11. And they're just, they're super cheap. What are they? £5.50 and they come with the elasticated waist so you can pull the waist in because she needs the 10 to 11 for her long legs but she's got a wee tiny waist so you need to pull in all the material and then let's see I got a pair of black leggings just the cosy ones these are just cosy <laughs> nice and then I got let's see a packet of black baubles for a pound I got this pack of bracelets Oh, it's kind of hard to see. There's like there a billion. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Isn't it, Sky? I think yeah. eight. You get eight different ones in it. Let's see if you guys can see. These were two pounds for eight, and you're just like you have to tie them. No, like clip them. And then I got these earrings. Look at this pack of earrings. I think you get two, four, six. I think you get six pairs in this for two pounds. And I think the stones inside them change color. I don't know. No. Do they? I don't know. Yeah, because they're moonstone, they're moonstone earrings. Ah, okay. So the colour inside it changes. And it changes, Sky, the colour, depending on how you're feeling. Mm. I can know what So black mean. means you're angry or stressed. Green means you're calm and relaxed. Dark blue means happy, love. Green amber is worried. Amber is nervous. Blue green is sensitive. How, do, how does it know though? It's based on your body temperature. I don't think it actually works, but based on your body uh, temperature, it changes the color of the stone. Uh, like when you're angry, you're super, you're super Maybe your temperature is like up a bit. Yeah, and when you're relaxed, you're maybe like, like feeling cool. What are we talking about? But yeah, so now we're gonna make some dinner and then movie night with our new glasses. I was faulty. What'd you think? Yeah. I'm going to get all these washed up guys and I'm going to get my cupboard emptied of all my old black crockery to put in all the new white stuff that I bought. You're not down. Get down. <laughs> At least I'm not tall. <laughs> For dinner tonight guys we are having, what are we having? Oh, I'm just looking at my Instagram. Um, slightly distracted. We are having a kind of, it's like a cross between a pasta bake and spaghetti bolognese which I'm aware sounds random I am aware of that I got the recipe from let me tell you the website I got oh it's the BBC good food website but I don't have a name for the recipe so that really really helps sorry but go turn these around and show you what I've been doing 
So in this pot we've got like spaghetti bolognese. I normally prefer to do spaghetti bolognese all day long in the slow cooker. And then in this pot I've got some pasta shells that I just cooked. I need to reserve some of the pasta water. And then <laughs> what you do once you have cooked your pasta, you drain it. No, come out of there. You drain it. No, go away pasta. I think that'll be enough water. What do we think? I think so. And then you mix the pasta and the water and some grated cheese along with this tub of mascarpone and my best joke that the kids don't really like. What cheese do you use to hide a horse? Mascarpone! Yeah, they didn't like that. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna drain that and then mix that with some cheese. I'll probably put some garlic powder and a little bit of salt in it too. Then you put the pasta, the pasta, spaghetti bolognese meat mixture really, that's what that is, onto the layer of your baking dish and then you put the pasta and the creamy sauce mixture on top then you put it in the oven until it's like crispy so we shall see how it turns out literally this tastes like kind of nice cheesy mac and cheese and then on the bottom under all the pasta is the spaghetti bolognese but you can't really see it i have a feeling when i dish it up it's going to be looking like slop <laughs> because it's i think it's going to be quite sloppy it's like spaghetti bolognese on the bottom and macaroni cheese on the top does that sound appetizing? Oh, appetizing means, appetizing means good, tasty. Does that yes. sound yummy? Yes. yes. And we're going to yeah. use our new bowls? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Go and sit down. Yeah. My gosh, my kids are crazy. <laughs> Do we think of that meal, that I'm going recipe? We're going to get some more. Would you like mine? Because I actually, mm -hmm. I'm so full because I ate some of the pasta, but was extra pasta, and I ate it when this was cooking in the oven. What do you think, babe? So nice. I like these new bowls as well. They're lovely, aren't they? Yep. These were not part of the pack that we got, guys. These were the separate ones. These are 85 pence in Ikea. Bargain! I thought they were good for like curries and chilies and kind of like wet food. Yeah, pasta. They almost look like pasta bowls. And do you like this guy? Uh-huh. And what about you, Obi? Was it good for you? You're so cute. Did you like the pasta better or the red sauce better? Pasta. You like pasta. the pasta the best? The sauce. Yum yum. Oh, you like the red sauce? Mm mm mm. And that's what made me fall in love 